Welcome back, guys. Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Duel Academy, and we are here. We go. All right. Let's see if we can do more time duels. Yep. Still at night on Saturday night. Saturday night. What are you guys doing this Saturday night? Ooh, good idea. Let's post this video on a Saturday night. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you know, it just it just writes itself. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Ooh. Um. Also, 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 remember, Josh, you're testing stuff. Yeah, let's, uh, yeah, let's leave this in. Don't, don't cut this. Hey, Tim, Tim, don't cut this. Just, just, just keep, keep it. Cut. We're building. Uh, so, yeah, I think I can, oh, wait, I can only do time duels at night, huh? Ah, I think that's true. Yep, that is true. Well, wait, is it true? No, no, you can do time goals here, right? Uh, I think you can. I'm pretty sure you can. Um, front of dorm. No, maybe you can't, actually. Well, anyway, I do remember we got... Oh, another new person. I was about to say, I do remember we got a lot of points last episode, so we could shop for packs. So, it's probably what I'll do after I check out whoever this is. Oh! Oh, dude, this is Tarzan guy! Okay. <laughs> okay. Ha. Meet David. Meet me, draw. Meet train at waterfall to draw a card. Me got it. Me monster reborn. Oh, me sorry. Me name is Damon. Me practice drawing. Drawing good. Drawing strong. Drawing connected one. Me no might draw. Me no might go poop in woods. Drawing important in duel. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love this game, man. <laughs> well, good thing we ran into him. Um, so, wait, the shop is here, right? Oh, but now it's in the evening, yeah, so we can't actually shop for cards. Well, you know what? This guy's new, so let's duel him. Ha! You want no power of draw? Oh, man. <laughs> I'm going to need way more water. Sorry, guys. If I'm going to do this Tarzan voice. Wow. <laughs> oh, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Duel Academy. Never change. Never change. <laughs> me show you in duel now. Will you duel? Yes, me duel. You believe draw two. Ah, draw two, as in pot of greed. Ah, oh, no, you meant I draw also. But me better than you. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> oh, this guy. This guy. So, for those of you who are confused by the dialogue, uh, yeah, so in Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, me always draw best card. Uh, there was this guy, he didn't look like this. He looked like buff and super and like, oh, uh, like ripped, man. This guy was swole, swole. Like he was just jacked. He he was strong, man. Uh, me activate, me faceless, face down card, reckless greed. Interesting card. He just ripped that right off the gate. Uh, but no, no, no. Ooh, we got two copies of Burst Dream. Okay, okay. Let's bait the magic jammer. Uh, but no, 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 it's basically, uh, you know how Yu-Gi-Oh! GX had, like, vampire episode, uh, you know, dueling monkey episode? Yu-Gi-Oh! GX was just wild, man. So, um, the thing with, uh, uh, yep, yeah, a lot of traps, as usual. Um, let's just end the turn here. But yeah, yeah, that, that was basically his shtick. You know, uh, warrior die gruffer. <laughs> he even screamed, oh, 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 that was good. That was good. I should do that when he does the, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, you know, you had like a dueling uh, pirate guy who had a bunch of rubies and took Jaden down to the submarine, you know. Oh, man. Just all a whole colorful cast, it, it, you know, classic, you know, 90s, 2000 kind of deal there. Uh, I guess we'll get rid of the, lim the limiter removal, yeah. But, uh, <laughs> crap.
crazy stuff, crazy stuff. Um, I don't want to burst stream just for one card. I think we can hold on with Giant Rat a little, so I'll even summon in an attack to prevent any... I, I've never dueled this guy, so I don't know. He may have, like, uh, no moment of cross out or something. Ah, me draw. Perfect. Me draw. Red Archery Girl. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Hilarious. Me wit. Lose never. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll put that in the thumbnail, though. That would be great to have Damon there in the thumbnail. But, you know, uh, you know, Jaden duels him and, uh, you know, oh, yeah, I could get Mooka Mooka. Well, I'll wait on Mooka Mooka. One sec. But, um, yeah, basically, you know, um, yeah, uh, what happens is, is, um, in the episode, if you guys don't remember, which I wouldn't blame you, I, GX is a long way away from today, um, well, yeah, we're gonna crash and float in Mooka Mooka, um, but yeah, what happened is, uh, someone kept, uh, stealing the egg witch, you know, the golden, perfect, yummy, like, the, the creme de la creme of the sandwiches, uh, and, uh, you know, uh, I think it was Alexis's favorite or, you know, it, it, it doesn't matter. The point is somebody's busting in the cafeteria late at night, taking the sandwiches. We got to find out who did this. Right. You know, and so Jaden and the crew, you know, get together in the schoolyard. They weren't really working too hard or anything, but they just, you know, slowly, but surely it was just like, okay, we'll do some investigating. And, uh, so they camped out in the cafeteria, but Dorothy, you, you know, the, person who works at the card shop who Jaden helped uh you know push up the truck in an earlier episode um but yeah the yeah. they basically just staked out the uh the cafeteria at night and and then they they caught him they're like it's the egg witch thief and then you know they chase him down and like why are you doing this and then, you know and then but but that that's that's what connected with the oh me draw perfect card me 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 you know train at waterfall me, me hone in nature. Me learn to understand the way of the... You know, <laughs> it was silly, man. It was he, one of the best... Yeah, if you haven't checked it out, by far one of the best... You know, if you just want a good laugh for uh, 20 minutes and some change, just check it out, man. Just check it out. <laughs> uh, just put it, put it in YouTube right now. You know, Tarzan... Um, Jaden duels Tarzan or something. <laughs> Hilarious, man. Um, now, this might be a penguin soldier or something, but uh, it's all good. Was trying to bait out the magic jammer there, by the way. Ooh, poison draw frog. You're going to take a lot of damage, bro. But uh, that was also this guy's thing uh, uh, during the duel is he did like to draw cards. Um, and uh, I think one of them, like, he had to guess the exact name the exact like imagine how hard that would be to pull off in real life well probably not with spirals but this was before spirals pretend spirals don't exist you know the archetype for spirals um but yeah he had to you know after shuffling your deck you know just back in 2004 or whatever imagine trying to get the a random card on top of your deck and if you're right you know you do like 2000 damage to your opponent that's basically what this guy's strategy was you know, and it was crazy. You know, he actually did guess the exact card that was on top. And everyone was like, oh, no way. How did he do that out of every card he possibly could have? And yeah, it was, it was a big plot point. But, you know, to some extent, all, you know, good uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Tags have good draw power, good luck stat. So, you know, Jaden was able to beat him in the end because um, the guy bricked on like a vanilla or something. But... Which is crazy, is because you didn't see that coming, considering, like, you wouldn't think a twist like that was possible, considering, you know, what I said before. Man, this guy's drawn a lot of cards. Uh, Poison Draw Frog is good, you know. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, yeah, you know, Jaden found a way. You know, so. uh, yeah. Anyway, I think Mooka Mooka is just hard carrying here. Um, so, surprise the AI hasn't. Play like Mirror Force, Negate Attack, Snatch Steel, you know. You know, knock on wood, knock on wood, you know, if you're rooting for me. But hey, if you want the episode to, you know, last a little longer, maybe be a two-parter, don't root for me. Root for this to be Man Eater Bug or something. Ah! 
I was close, Chad. I was close. But very meteor crush carry. All right. But yeah, yeah. Funny episode, man. Hilarious episode. Ah, me no draw key card. Me need know how to draw. Me need power. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, hilarious episode. I'm glad we, you know what? Not doing the time duels was worth it. I, and we are still recording, right? We are. We are. All right. Got that duel in. Um, okay. <laughs> pretty, I have to say, for being back, pretty serious, uh, exciting uh, two episodes, you know. You know what? Uh, well, nah, nah. I should check if anyone else is new around. I was just going to say let's end the night, but... Now, this is what you're supposed to do in this game, you know. Check to see if anyone's around. Um, you know. any If you ever see that question mark, definitely, you know, go for it. Um, but, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, since there's no one new, let's just go next to Ocean. All I can hear are the splashing waves. Nice, relaxing end of the day. <sighs> I'm so tired. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, let's save here. And that's good. Yeah, we're still recording? Good, good. Okay, so, like I had said last episode, I'm going to try to do the time duels for about 15 minutes. Let's do the same thing here, only let's not miss menu this time. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Apparently, hey, you guys, hey, I've never heard this music before, but, well, hey, if you ever wanted to hear the tutorial music, here it is. You know what? Let me crank this up. Yeah, I've never actually heard this music. Yeah. All right, all right. Not bad, not bad. I prefer the time duel music better, though, of course. Yeah, it loops back around. Okay, okay, okay. I see you, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Duel Academy. I see you. All right, let's do time duels. Uh, so, yeah, last time we, you know, did the event with Zane and all that. Oh, but here we go. Time to put our thinking cap on, chat. Can you figure out the puzzle? Ah, leave a comment down below. Let me know if you you saw the solution I did or, you know, you saw the mistake or just like, oh, you know, if you figured it out before I did, let me know. 12,000 life points. Man, are we supposed to deck this guy out or what? Um, Sanctuary in the sky. Okay. Fairies take no damage, right? Right. Okay. Okay. Catapult. Ah, uh, <laughs> okay, okay. Moki, Moki, Smackdown. Moki, Moki. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. Um, right. Okay, okay. Called the Haunted. Uh huh. Polymerization. Okay. Yeah, and this prevents us from taking damage. Uh, I say, I say. Okay, chat. So here's what you want to do. Um. Hmm. Big Koala, yeah. I think you you got to start with Polly, right? Uh, so let's go with Moki Moki King. Yep. And we'll fuse Moki Moki, Moki Moki. And oh man, the Moki Moki episode was hilarious too, dude. You gotta chill, bro. <laughs> Blowski, hilarious. Um. Obviously, you want to flip up Turtle. We got to get all the damage we can here. So, SmackDown. Let me make sure the timing on this. Yeah. Fairy type is destroyed. Hmm. Okay. I think what you got to do here... I think. I may be wrong on this one, actually. So, let's try to crash. Just to see what happens. Because Call of the Honda has to be here for a reason, right? Uh, no, don't chan. Uh, Moki Moki. No. Mm hmm. Right. Right. Okay, see, that's how I thought it would work. So you gotta use Call. I might have missed the timing here, though. Mm, I'm not sure if we'll have enough damage. So, yeah, you gotta bring King back. Crash King, yet again, Moki Moki. Feel the power of the Moki Moki King, man. All right, now, there goes, <laughs> now Moki Moki smack now. All right. <laughs> I 
I can't do Bolowski's voice for that long. If I could, believe me, guys, I would. But uh, that guy was hilarious, too. <laughs> two pretty great episodes you got to check out. If you never checked out GX, check out just those two episodes. You know, and you want a good laugh. You don't want to take, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh! too seriously or anything. Yeah, check out the episode with the little Bolowski <laughs> and GX and uh, Tarzan GX episode. Uh, anyway, I think Catapult Turtle, you know, it'll make your day. You'll, you'll have a riot, man. You'll have a riot. <laughs> uh, are we doing enough damage? I think we are. So we might have done it first try. Nice. Okay. All right, we actually did a little extra damage. So nice. Success. All right, not bad. Let's try number 84. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway. All right, let's see what we got here in this duel. All right, chat, you ready? Uh, let's see, giant... Oh, okay, so we got to watch the burn, because we only have a 1,000 points. That's tricky, tricky, tricky. Oh, uh, what's this? Giant Axe Mummy. Hmm, yeah. Okay, what we got? Warrior Returning Live, Pre-Mat, Axe, Mata... Mm. So Matasa can attack twice, that I know. Uh, this just has how much defense? 2,000. I guess you could, you know, since this card can flip itself back face down. You're right, yeah. There is a world where you could know this is set, but uh, there's also a world where you couldn't. The problem here is Giant Germ, yeah. So there has to be a warrior in the grave that uh, stops it from cloud. Okay. Wait, but warrior returning alive... We're returning alive. Wait. Oh, we need Captain for extra damage. I see. Okay, okay. This seems pretty straightforward. Okay, so... Pre-meat. Alright. Okay. Uh, bring back... Wait. Ooh, I might have messed this up. No, 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 no. I'm thinking of, uh... Uh, Ben... Ben Kai. Sorry. So, okay. Bring back the Force. Use the Force. Something, something, dark side. Anyway, I hope you guys are doing good. Uh, today is uh, eh, October the 2nd, uh, 2024. Yeah, just uh, yeah, fall is in session, what can I say? And, uh, yeah, you know, most towns have like festivals, all kind of stuff, you know. Uh, fairs, uh, Halloween. Halloween's coming up, so that should be cool. Um, and, uh, yeah, and best of all, let's not forget, the cool weather, man. Ah, uh, it's the best time. Oh, wait! Oh, I just realized. I was just kind of mindlessly going through the motions there. I popped the mummy instead of the uh, giant germ. I even said, like, to myself, I even said how to do it correctly, but I didn't select the... You get... I'm sorry, guys. I messed up on that one. My bad. But I even... Yeah, I even said, oh, giant germ's a problem. We gotta... Da, 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 da. But I was just... <laughs> I started talking about, like, what day, like, fall and this and that. I, I had, There was an idea there, but, uh, yeah... Let that be a, a, a note to you, chat. Don't have ideas when you duel. Probably a bad idea. You might misplay. You might, uh... You might, uh... Try to max C, even though Droll's already been activated. Yeah. Yeah, you might try to max C while Shifter is already in play. So, uh, whoops. <laughs> anyway. Alright, let's get to zapping. How the hell with it? Special beam cannon. Ah, <laughs> uh, all right, Captain down, and we're still recording. So, hmm, that's good. Honestly, I would have thought the uh, video would have cut off by now. You know what? And speak, speaking of the fact with the video cutting off, uh, let's preemptively save here. Yeah. 
just in case it does cut off. You know, uh, yeah, yeah. And that goes for any of the uh, time duels. If it does cut off, don't worry about it. That's the end of the episode. Um, gotta run. Gotta you know edit stuff. Uh, we'll worry about it next time. Well, I'll catch up. You know, off screen and you know. Uh, but yeah, right now I'm just we're just chatting. Oh, please let this be the puzzle. Yeah, this is such a cool card, man. Such a cool card. You take a drink. So this is one of those cards, kind of like Soldier Revolt, Soldier Revolt in the anime, that you might think is completely worthless. You know, you got uh, Science Soldier, Cyber Soldier of Dark World, and Kinetic Soldier. You know, three just random ass Yu-Gi-Oh cards, and one trap. You know, helps makes it freaking OP, man. Uh, but anyway. Yeah, this card can only be activated during your main phase when people running about, oppressed people, and united resistance are on your side of the field. Send all cards in your opponent's hand to the graveyard and destroy all cards your opponent controls on the field. Man, imagine pulling this off in Master Duel. That would be a hilarious replay. Um, so we already got the people. Um, the peop now we need the people's champ. Uh, so there's resistance. And um, yeah. Then we just need to make sure we have enough damage. So let's switch that to attack mode. Anything stopping us? No, just... Well, I guess Spell Canceler is stopping us. Uh, call the Haunted. Okay. Okay, so we can... Shh, I gotta think this. Is there any other monster in the graveyard? There is Boko. But obviously Boko has less points. So I don't think it Call matters too much here. I'm just going to assume this is the right solution. So let's get people running about. You know what? These monsters will probably never be featured. So let's just feature them right here. Although they always suffer in silence, silence they swear an oath to inevitably revolt. Try brigade revolt. Oppressed people. Let's read some flavor text. They are oppressed, but believe they will have their freedom. Someday. Someday. And the final piece of the puzzle. United Resistance. The people that, uh, that gather to swear to fight their oppressors. Revolution is coming. <laughs> um, anyway, let's uh, let's do it. United Resistance. All right, and all three. Huge revolution, baby. See ya. Okay, now I do need more damage, so let's monster reincarnate. Ooh, should I have even done this? Uh, right, because I already used my normal summon. Oops, I think I misplayed. No, I did not. Okay, so let's discard Tsukiyomi and add Tsukiyomi. It's a spirit monster, meaning you can't special summon it, right? Yep, good old Suk. All right, so we'll premature burial. And if I messed up on this one, not a problem. You know, we'll just uh, try again. And... If I did mess up, it's definitely something with Call of the Haunted. But uh, anyway, people running about. Revolution. All right. Oppressed people. I forgot the flavor text on this one. All right. United Resistance, baby. Ooh, and I did mess up. Yeah. Because we are how much short? 1,100 short. Yep. Yeah, somehow I have to leave a normal for Tsukiyomi. Somehow. Okay. So we failed that one. It's alright. We can try again. Okay. So. Wait, maybe it is that simple. Ah, why didn't I think of that before? Yeah, you just book the uh, canceler. Yeah, why didn't I do this before? I don't know. Um, anyway, switch to attack. I've got it now, chat. I've got it now. Uh, so, we can't normal. So what we do is we monster reincarnation. Mm -hmm. Resistance for Boko. Mm -hmm. Boko! Gimme. <laughs> it's so funny that this card combos with Dekoichi, but uh, no one's ever going to really use it. You know what I mean? Well, I don't know. I guess it does work with uh, Machine Dupe, so... Hey, 
maybe some old school format could do it. Yeah, besides, there's like League of Nomenclature 2. <laughs> Draw 4 Bokoichi Turbo. Man. Imagine an Exodia deck with it. <laughs> you, you know, like back in Go. You know what I mean? Back in like, when was Rise of Destiny? Like 2005, maybe? 2006? Maybe. Like a little jank, but it'd be hilarious if you pulled that off in a three person locals. Uh, anyway. Let's get them, boys. All right. Joining forces here. All right. Uh, anyway, it looks like we're still recording, so we're going to try to get squeeze one more puzzle in, uh, guys. Chat. Everybody. And, uh, yeah. And then we'll we'll just end it off. Do a nice little two-parter for GX. And uh, go from there, yeah. But I'm going to do the save strat, of course. So tired. PDA. And, oops, did not mean to deck it there. Save. Yeah, man, look at our dual points, though. Eight, 84, 95, man. So in the next episode of this, I should definitely uh, <laughs> buy some packs, yeah. I forgot if we're working on any kind of deck. Ooh, one thing I do remember in this game is that for King of Games, though, uh, I don't think you have to collect every card. Hopefully not. But you might need like a certain, you know, percentage of cards. You know, now. Uh, anyway, so our life is at 1,500. Okay, so maybe we can germ crash into some stuff. Uh, okay. Okay, and they've got Shining Angel. Hmm. Definitely got to time that right. Magical hat. Okay, okay. All right, I think I get this one. So we go turtle. Luckily, offerings is a quick play. I think we got this one, guys. So, germ clears hat. You know the King Slayer. Shout out to C Mo. <laughs> Prog season one. All right. Little burn. Uh, no, don't change. Yep. Germ in. Germ in. All right. Off the beat, they're saying. That's what we're gonna be saying after this one. Sorry, I, I'm sure that uh, accent was horrible, by the way. Um, I, I I don't mean to be offensive. Or, I, I deeply apologize. I just... I don't even know what I'm doing here. I'm just mindlessly rambling about... You know, ah, I see. Uh, what's our life at? Uh, should be good, right? Yeah, 1300? Okay. Uh, yeah, basically this is just another one of those uh, crash... Uh, System duels. Oh. Not too bad. Mm -hmm. So you just basically... Uh, same thing as like with the UFO turtle and the Mash Dragon's la last episode. The challenge here isn't really... Uh, uh, getting the win. It's the menu. That's the challenge. So, yep, because offerings is a quick play. And you can't set it because... You can't activate quick plays the turn you set them. So, no to the chain. And yes to the summon. So, yeah, that's the real challenge here. So, you know, uh, you got to menu correctly. But I guess that's every game to an extent, right? So see, now we can pop with uh, offerings. <laughs> What's funny is, even though we don't have any cards in our deck, like, we could actually give them a turn and not deck out. Pretty funny when you think about it. Uh, yeah. Yes, sometimes cards that skip your draw phase can be good. Believe us. <laughs> Hashtag game designer logic. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, we cleared that one. And okay. All right, there we go, guys. So, all right. Got only 13 time duels left. All right. Well, I appreciate you guys joining me for this. <laughs> Man, the Tarzan. <laughs> oh, man. Definitely the highlight of the episode right there. I, I know not everybody likes time duels, but, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure, like, getting all the time duels is necessary for uh, the King of Games title stuff. Or for, like, you know, ranking up. So, if you don't like time duels, sorry, but, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, you know what I mean? And, uh, yeah, it, it's kind of fun, you know. It, it, it's, it can be interactive, you know. 
yeah, yeah, you know, you see the, the cards at the same time I do. See if you can figure it out before I do, you know. Can, can kind of, you know, brain teaser. Uh, those can be fun. Uh, but anyway, guys, I uh, appreciate you guys joining me for this little, you know, yeah, two-parter of uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Duel Academy. But that's going to be it for me. And, uh, yeah, yeah. I hope you guys are enjoying everything, having good times. Uh, you know, make more together. Right now, let's go. All right. So, uh, yeah, but I'm going to end it off here, and, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys all next time. Bye-bye, and have a wonderful weekend.